Well, here I'm at uh, Eck, uh, Eck uh, campsite. Just finished setting up uh, camp here. It's about one o'clock. Took my, you know, I didn't rush. I, I've been uh, messing with stuff for a while. Um, only about a, you know, maybe a mile pile from the, uh, from the uh, Agnes portage to the Eck Lake portage. Only about a mile paddle, so that was pretty easy. You know, point three miles in both of them. Not not really hard to uh, not really hard portages. Did the double carry though, which I think is really going to make my life a lot better. I'm feeling much much better in my hips. Um, anyway, this is a tent set up really taut. We were supposed to get some rain. Um, not seeing it yet. We'll see what happens. But then uh, the only thing about this campsite is we, we have another super genius setting up the uh, bear pole because right over here, right next to the tent is the bear pole again. Bear pole, tent. Bear pole, tent. Okay, well, we have some super geniuses. The super genius who set up this campsite must have also set up the campsite at um, quarter line. It wouldn't have been that hard to have put the bear pole, say, near the bathroom, which you'd have it not near your tent, or Maybe a little further down the trail. But anyway, it is a pretty sight. More notices to campers here to uh, get, rid of your, get rid of your fish guts properly. But the one thing about this site, which is really nice, is the, uh, the rock here. The overlook rock here is awesome. That's why I wanted to come back and check out this lake. Though I think I like Agnes better. Um, the, the lake is much easier to get to. But... I will say one thing about uh, Eck Lake, the water here quality is much better. Uh, Agnes Lake did have a little tan, it was a little tannicky. But look at that overview, man, that is freaking awesome. <laughs> that is uh, spectacular. You have a nice rock going right down to the water's edge. Got the fire ring right here, which you can't use on this trip because of the fire ban. But you can have a beautiful view of the night sky here. Um, I've got the Helinox set up, got my tarp set up right here so I can view this beautiful lake. Yeah, this is a really nice site. I think I like Agnes better, um, with the exception of the water being a little tannicky. The, the rock beach is a little bit nicer, a little more accessible, and the location for the tent pad gives you a much better view of the lake. But... All in all, this is still a pretty nice site. Um, I'm still, I think maybe this is my second favorite lake here on, uh, here at Voyagers National Park. Quarter line was okay. It was all right, but it, it's not as, just not as spectacular as this, as this one here. All righty, well tomorrow is gonna be a little paddle over to the, uh, to get to, uh, uh, the, the pike to uh, to little snowpack. We're going to try to make it a little snowpack. Definitely make it some Jorgensen, but hopefully a little snowpack as well. Because I want to see if that is uh, that site can actually be hiked to, as opposed to having to be paddled to. If it can be hiked to, that really would uh, give me another site I might want to check out. Though a big, though a regular the snowpack lake is a pretty awesome lake. The size is immense and it's way in the interior. So it might be worth uh, might be worth the expense of renting the canoe for the because that's how you have to reach by canoe. Alrighty, well this is Eck Lake here in Voyagers National Park. This is my second and last campsite for this trip. I'll be here two nights. All right, see you guys on the water. Bye bye.